Thomas Jefferson said that Islam was founded on the laws of their prophet, that it was written in their Quran, that all nations who should not have acknowledged their authority were sinners, that it was their right and duty to make war upon them wherever they could be found and to make slaves of all they could take as prisoners and that every Muslim who should be slain in battle was sure to go to paradise. Well, we've seen that John Quincy Adams and now Thomas Jefferson at least understood what they were dealing with. If you and I are going to know the truth, we have to study it. Don't be afraid, study the truth, and then we can and will prevail. Well, friend, I hope that you are benefiting intellectually from this series. And it is a tragedy that fear of torment, of rape, of death is one of the primary evangelistic tools of Islam. The truth of the matter is that Islam was birthed by the sword, catechizes by the sword, keeps people in the faith by the sword. Now, I make no bones about it. Fear can be used inside of Christianity too. But it is the fear of hell. Some people respond to fire and brimstone preaching. Okay? They do. Some of you watching this program have come to Christ, stayed with Christ, because, as the confession of sin says, I fear the fires of hell. I don't want to go to hell. I want to die in the grace of God. I want to die in friendship with Christ. And if we were honest, for many of us, <laughs> there are people who just don't want to go to hell. And they came to Christ to avoid the just punishments of hell. And they stay with him for that. That's fear. It's the fear of God. And it's the beginning of wisdom. But the Mohammedan fear, the Muslim fear, is the fear of the sword in this life. It's the fear of oppression. It's the fear of losing those you love, of losing this world's goods. And then, basically, you surrender Islam. You surrender. You submit. That is the difference between Islam and Christianity. And when you look at what Muhammad did, you ask the question, what would Muhammad do? Then you understand the horrific crimes that are being committed around the world as a means of evangelism.